The undergrad college that I went to had a chemistry department with three faculty and about 40 students. So we didn't do a whole lot of research and when I came here, really what I was looking for was a brand new experience. I had no idea exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew that analytical chemistry was it and I knew that Purdue was the place to come for that. So uh, I came in without any knowledge about building a new instrument, about high vacuum, about cold temperatures, about electronics, and over the last several years I've been able to kind of gather these skills together into something that will help me in the future. So for the last about two and a half months, the cold portion of this chamber has actually been upstairs in the Amy facility. And I've been assembling it there uh, from the pieces that uh, the machinist in the Amy facility has made for us. And I've been wiring it up and I've been leak testing it with uh, some of the Amy facility members and I have, it's been great to have them all in the same vicinity so that if I have a question about temperature control or vacuum or question about whether or not this is the right size wire to use in a 4 Kelvin setting, it's, it's been great to have all that expertise in one place. In the McClucky group, the, some of the big questions are how do different ions interact with each other? In the Zwier group, one of the big questions is what's the lowest energy conformation of molecules? This instrument is unique in the fact that we can do both at the same time. We've had electrical engineers involved, we've had vacuum specialists involved, we've had uh, temperature specialists involved because we're going down to such low temperatures, such high vacuum. Um, we've had physical chemists involved, we've had analytical chemists involved, uh, we've, we've even talked to people over in physics to figure out, you know, at 4 Kelvin, how do different things behave? You know, how can, how do our materials, what materials can stand up to this low pressure and still function accurately?